2019 will hopefully be the year that I finish my goal of visiting every country in the world, so I thought it'd be important to discuss exactly how much it costs. I spent a long time trying to figure this out, as there are so many ways to spend money. But all things considered, I estimate each country to be about 700 US dollars. This includes long stays like four months in India and short stays like one day in Monaco. It includes all transportation like flights, trains, buses, taxis, car rentals. I'm Drew Binsky and we're about to start our epic six day road trip across California. Cable cars, tuk-tuks. We're cruising around Siem Reap, Cambodia in a tuk-tuk. Motorbikes, bicycles, canoes, ferries, and cruise ships. It covers all accommodations like Airbnbs, hotels, guest houses. Welcome to Istanbul. And hostels. Shit, I'm in a shoebox. It takes care of extra activities like gorilla trekking in Uganda. Oh man, that was incredible. Island hopping in the Philippines. Dude, that little dog right there. Skydiving in Australia. And safaris in Namibia. Holy mackerel. And finally, it includes other expenses like food, shopping, beer, visas, SIM cards. I just got a SIM card here in Uganda. <laughs> ATM fees, etc. Some countries are really expensive to visit like Bhutan, North Korea, and Norway while others are really cheap, like Laos, Bangladesh, and Belarus. But all things considered, I am confident with my answer of $700 per country, which is about $135,000 total to see every country in the world as a solo traveler. It's really not that expensive when you think about it, considering it's the same price as this car, an Audi RS5. If you ask me, it's a no-brainer which one is more valuable. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. It's electric, it's sexy, it's tasty, it's confusing, but above all, it's futuristic. The Japanese are innovators. They somehow figured